I think I might have a problem in my head. More precisely, I like to automate a lot of things that aren't necessarily that useful to be automated in the first place. Like seriously, right now I'm thinking to automate my toilet. This is becoming a problem. My wife agrees with this. And today I'm going to show you how I automated a Peltier dehumidifier with ESP Home and a few other parts that totaled around 7 or 8 euros. Come with me in this journey to see what I did good, what I did bad and where I should have think twice before executing the plan. So let's go. This is a really cheap dehumidifier that I got from a local store here in Romania but I guess you can find similar models on Aliexpress. This dehumidifier is fine for a small closet or even a small bathroom but it had a major problem and that problem is it wasn't automated. So my plan was to install a relay inside the dehumidifier to control the Peltier module and the fan and temperature and humidity sensor and also I replaced the fan with a PWM fan in order to control the fan speed at night so it won't make that much noise when it was running overnight. I got right to the point. First I disassembled the dehumidifier, it was really easy to my surprise and its circuit board was really basic so it was really easy for me to replace its circuit board with my own circuit board and after I did a quick sketch inside of my mind I started soldering. I got a really nice USB-C soldering iron from Aliexpress. I really love this thing. In the past I've used like a cheap soldering iron and it gave me like a really bad time and a lot of frustrations so I decided to upgrade to this one. Like seriously it cut my soldering time like in half or something like that. The process of soldering as I said was pretty easy. It took like maybe one hour, one hour and a half something like that. But I had a problem and that was my fault, I guess. This dehumidifier run on 9 volts and 2.5 amps and I wanted to upgrade the voltage to 12 volts and 1.5 amps because my rationale thought that if I uh, step up a bit the voltage, maybe I will increase the efficiency of the Peltier in a sense that it will get cooler, a bit cooler, and extract more moisture from the air. But after many failed attempts, it seemed that my cheap power supply that I got in my closet got freaked out by the Peltier module for some reason and decided to cut its power, I guess to protect itself, but I don't know why I did that. So, back to plan A. And also another motive, I guess that's the primary reason that I decided to upgrade to a 12 volt power supply, because the fan ran at 12 volts, not at 9 volts, and it had a lower amperage than the previous fan that I removed from the unit. That was a basic fan without uh, PWM. The air move by the new fan was significantly less, even though it's a pressure optimized fan. And by running it at 12 volts, it will in theory, I guess in practice also, add a higher speed and also a higher current flow to the hot side of the Peltier mode. But as of now, I'm sticking to 9 volts and maybe in the future I will upgrade the power supply to 12 volts. Also, there is another possibility to step up the voltage of the 9 volt signal from the power supply to 12 volts to only supply that voltage to the fan. But I'm not going to do that right now, maybe in the future. You can see the code in the link in the description below. Basically, it allows me from Home Assistant to control the PWM uh, signal of the fan. Also, stop the fan and with the relay to stop the Peltier module from working in case I want to do that. Okay, now the question is, was that really necessary? It wasn't necessary. I mean, yeah, the fan that was inside the unit was a bit loud, but the most easy fix possible in that situation was just wanted to replace the fan, but, but where is the fan in that? No, seriously, this dehumidifier, because now it's not smart, you have some control over it, which is nice, but the unit's efficiency is really, really, really bad. I mean, because the radiator in the back, the radiator that's on the cool side, it's so small, the condensation that it's happening on that radiator, it's like a few milliliters a day. On the website for this dehumidifier, it said that it was good for a room that's like 15 square meters or 10 square meters, which is totally false. Maybe five square meter maximum or four. But even then, I don't think it's that efficient because the fan is so small and the airflow is so small. You would have to install like a really serious 12 volt fan 
with a really high airflow that in the end wouldn't be that pleasant to be in the room with that fan running. But I have a plan for the next video. Basically, I'm trying to install a bigger heatsink on the cold side of the Peltier in the hopes that it will increase the surface area and a bigger surface area with more fins will result, I guess in theory, in a higher condensation potential resulting in more water collected from the air. I hope you liked the video, leave a like if you liked the video or dislike if you didn't like the video. You can follow me also on Facebook or Instagram, links below. And don't forget to, and don't forget also to test approval from your spouse. Because that's really important. Don't be like me. <laughs>